the countries starting this afternoon, Uzbekistan, Australia, Italy, Great Britain, Ukraine and Germany. So there's the lineup over there in lane one, the 19 year old Uzbeki athlete, again Berdiev Kolomorud, Uzbekistan making a real splash at this World Championships, not just in this event. There is the experienced former world champion in this event, Eric Horry, 42 years of age. Here we see Giacomo Perini, strong favourite to take this, the 26-year-old from the Anani Club near Rome. Ben Pritchard, the Welshman, rows for City of Swansea Rowing Club in lane four. Paralympic Ukraine. champion Roman Polyansky came into this sport from para canoeing. Never looked back since. And in lane six for Marcus, Klemp, Marcus Klemp, the German para athlete from the Offenbacher Club. For this first medal race of the day. There's Eric Hooray up there in lane two, who got away pretty smartly. Here we are riding with him, getting that boat up to speed, Sarah. Eric Hooray of Australia, great start there to get himself into the race, but all eyes on this man, the Italian. He set a world best time in Poznan at the World Cup, where he sensationally won that race. Good job. Looking really smooth and cool there off the start. The British sculler out there going toe to toe with the Italian. Yeah, and these two in the center of the field, newer to this event. Um, we've got Giacomo Perini, only came onto the scene this year. This is one of the established favorites as we're looking here at Polianski, Paralympic champion uh, back in Tokyo and in Rio um, as we look here at the front of the field. And the way that we've seen the times pan out during the racing is that Polianski's typically a bit slower in the first thousand, Perini a bit faster, but then it's the second thousand where we see those times have been matching up across the, the heats and the semis. So they haven't raced each other yet. What will unfold down the track? Well, we're seeing Perini here, as we say, relatively new to the event. His technique isn't necessarily as tidy as the others. He sort of splashes a little bit at the finish of the stroke. The others tend to just hold the blades in a little bit deeper, shorter strokes, but sort of a little bit more connected strokes. Polianski moving right back on the fast starting Pritchard there. See, he was clear water down on Pritchard, but the Ukrainian moving back, and uh, he will move back through Pritchard. Pritchard's beaten him once this season, I think, in Gavarati. But, uh, it's going to be really tight for the silver and bronze medals. I think Perini is going to be out there for the gold medal as they come through. The first marker this class is for athletes who have no or minimal trunk function. And as you can see, they can apply their force predominantly using the arms and or the shoulders. And they've got decreased sitting balance, which is why you've got the sponsors on the side of the boat. So as they come through the 500 meter mark, in first place, it is Giacomo Perini in a time of 208.46. Second through Ben Pritchard from Great Britain. Third through the Olympic or Paralympic champion Roman Polianski from the Ukraine. Fourth through Paralympic silver medalist Eric Horry in fourth. Fifth Marcus Klemp of Germany and sixth Kol Murod of Uzbekistan. Well, we're taking a look at it now. And as we said, the, uh, the Italian Scala Perini new on the scene this year. Ben Pritchard, by contrast, has been here since 2019 and hasn't yet been able to make it onto the podium. He's generally always found himself behind this man, Eric Horry, who we see now is over there on that side of the course. For the medal shakeup, we think it's between these four. And Horry, at the moment, I don't know, do you think he's tracking it? Is Ben Pritchard getting too far away? Will Horry be able to come back to get onto the podium? I think Horry's got what it takes uh, to come through in the last part of this race. Uh, ben Pritchard's taken it out early on. I mean, I know when he was talking to us in the team hotel earlier in the week, he kind of said, you know, it's like anything, you get to a 1,000, look around, see where you are, decide your tactics for the second 1,000. Polyansky is now through Pritchard and the Ukrainian is looking for the next target, which is Perini. As we see there, the German Marcus Klemp currently sitting in fifth position. 
But the race for the medals is happening here at the front of the field. Perini still in the lead. And in fact, now the Paralympic gold medalist from Ukraine, Roman Polianski, moved through Ben Pri Pritchard into silver medal position. Eric Horry, though, is clear water behind in fourth position. The three-time Paralympic silver medalist, will he get himself into medal contention as these athletes come towards the 1,000-metre mark? Well, look, I think that's the big question in the second 1,000 here. We have seen Polianski, the Ukrainian scholar, going quickly in the second half of the course. Will he be able to catch up with Perini, the Italian, at the front? And will Ben Pritchard be able to hold this position and stay in the medal podium positions, or will Eric Horry close that gap? Quick time, 4.25 through the 1,000, maybe singling a sub-9, world's best time, 8.55. So conditions not as quick as that day, but Perini's really trucking out there in front, so is Polanski trying to move away from Ben Pritchard. Here we see a proud man with those tattoos on his left arm. Yeah, one of those tattoos uh, shows daffodils. He's a proud Welshman. I notice it looks like he's wearing matching Welsh sunglasses as well today with that sort of uh, white, red and green on them. Polianski, like he did in that semi-final race, moving right back on Perini. And the boat speeds show us that Perini is starting to tie here. The fastest moving boat on the course is the Ukrainian. Polianski starting to come back into the gold medal contention now as he is reeling in the Perini with a Perini with every stroke. It's interesting Perini here. Let's wonder whether he's starting to struggle, whether his, his pace is going to hold up. Because as it is, the two scholars behind, beside him, Polianski and Pritchard, are both staying with him. And if anything, closing that gap. Yeah, Polianski has a fearsome finish. Normally seen him apply that to get through Eric Horry, but Perini has come in the sport. Uh, he's lost his leg due to a tumour. was a horse rider before Perini and said he chose rowing because it allows him to transform a limit such as amputation into an opportunity to take my life in hand and constantly improve myself. Well, we see Ben Pritchard here. He's also recently been voted in by the other athletes to be an athlete representative to World Rowing. Four candidates made it through that election, so he's had a good week already. Will he be able to make it onto the podium? And if he does, what position will he be able to make it there? And he is in the center of this picture. This is our gold, silver, bronze as it lies now. I can't but it does believe, look like Polianski's I moving. I can't believe that. Polianski's got his bows in front of Perini, and Polianski does have an even better finish on him than the Italian. He's put so much effort in, and Ben Pritchard going really fast to make it. You can see what Perini's doing there. He's gone out early, the Italian. Uh, it's few people that thought that uh, Polianski would be level with the Italian with 500 metres to go. And we see there the Italian leading through the 1500 with the narrowest of margins, 0.46 of a second over the Ukrainian. Great Britain in third, Australia in fourth. As they're well into the last quarter of the race here, we see Perini start to step up his rate. He goes up to 39 strokes per minute. He's moving at the same speed as the Ukrainian, also at 39 strokes per minute. Ben Pritchard winding it up for a go at Polianski there. Perini pushing off that uh, one good leg. Maybe got a little bit more leverage than the Ukrainian over there on the right of your picture. Pritchard in the centre. But they're now bad ball to bad ball. Look, you can see it with your eyes. You can see it in the bottom right of the picture. It says no metres is the gap between the Ukrainian and the Italian. They're going with it almost on the surge right now. This will be a sensation if Polianski from Makiva in the Donetsk province of Ukraine, manages to pull through and head the Italian. I'm not sure anybody saw that result coming. Perini been so dominant in the sport. This is a sensational skull from the Ukrainian. And it looks as though maybe the Italian has somewhere to go, pushing his bow back in front again as they're coming down to the last few hundred metres here. We can just see them from the commentary box. They're about 200 metres away. Coming down to the line, Perini maybe just pushing his bow in front as Polianski attacks again. The Paralympic champion attacks again. Well, all three of these scholars are at 40 strokes a minute. Polianski has gone again, and his bow is in front. He is the one who has the momentum right now. They're coming down towards the line. I've got to tell you, it's still about another 150 meters. So if Perini can go again, he could yet come back, but his head has dropped. And in fact, it's Ben Pritchard who's getting the overlap 
with the Italian. And up here, what about Roman Polanski, Polianski leading this one? This is a sensation to start the A finals this afternoon. Roman Polianski sculling away from the Italian favourite. The Ukrainian 36 year old who's been training in Poland comes up to the line. This is a famous, famous victory for the Ukrainian Paralympic champion. Gold for Ukraine. Wow, wow, wow. What a result. Perini from Italy has to settle for the silver medal. Ben Pritchard, a great skull from the Welshman to take the bronze medal. Eric Horry will come in in fourth place. The Ukrainians going mad there in the stands and they have every right across the line. There is that Eric Horry from Australia. That is Eric Horry across the line. But wow, what an amazing skull from Roman Polianski. It'll be such a popular result across the boat park as we see Marcus Klemp coming across the line there. We're waiting for the Uzbeki sculler to come up here in lane number six. But of course, there's the emotional attachment that everyone has to the Ukrainian team to see how they've been able to train outside of their home country. Of course, um, training uh, there in... They were in Nancy. I think Polyansky has been training in Poland, I think, as uh, again Berdiev Kolomorud crosses the line there. Where did he find that uh, second thousand from Polyansky? Well, it's really worked for him, hasn't it? This man, Giacomo Perini, was such a sensation when he came onto the scene at Poznan. You can see his head's down with disappointment. You can imagine how hard they've been working. Ben Pritchard there, still catching his breath, but a great skull for him to get himself onto the podium for the first time. Well, if the rest of the finals are like that one, we're in for a hugely memorable afternoon. See those Welsh sunglasses there from Pritchard's Polyansky. Perini came into the sport and, you know, people were saying questions about the classification. You know, he can't be beaten and... No. Polyansky's just proved that you can beat him. He can be beaten. You can see what that means to those Ukrainian supporters. They've got a good para team. They've had a good team across the whole regatta. Well, I wonder if we'll have any other surprises coming our way, possibly even in the next race. But let's see, let's wait. This one is about Roman Polyansky taking out that gold medal ahead of Giacomo Perini and Ben Pritchard. They will be the medalists. The other three will have to head back directly to those landing stages. Is that